Hello everyone, it's Marie from Skeletorama again. Welcome back to my channel. Kevin how's everybody doing? Um, doing pretty good considering that, you know, what I thought was going to be two videos turned into three and a half. Um, the other half I haven't finished the, the rest of the project, so that's going to be a fun one too. But um, at any rate, so this is the second one in the series of, of ones that I did the other day. And we're going to be making the little um, steampunk skull decoration. So um, hope you enjoy the video. So now we are going to start on the one using the snow globe here. So these are the Tim Holtz um, snow globes that came out around Christmas. And they have a real glass globe and a wooden base. So of course, if there's a wooden base, I'm going to stain the base. So that, that's coming. Just know that's coming. Um, and so this one was the one of the two because this is the other um, size here. This one seemed a little more conducive to having the skull in it. You know, it would, it would fit a little bit better in there. So I'll take this top off here. You know, let's make sure the skull fits. Well, it's not gonna sit right there, but you know, as long as we can get it in here, everything's good. Um, so what we're gonna do with this one is what I saw the one lady do on um, one of the examples from that Tim Holtz Live that, that he just did for the, the newest release. And um, there we go. And she had a bunch of gears kind of stacked up. So I'm going to see what I've got here that'll fit in there for one. Okay, that one will. And so keep in mind here, we have this gear. And just because it fits doesn't mean it'll work because it's still got to be able to fit the globe around it. It's got to still be able to sit in there and have some clearance. So we just have to remember that while we're doing it, which is a bummer because that would have been really cool. But yeah, it's not going to fit. So let's see, that one's kind of cool. Uh, what else do we have? have that one, Oops. same thing, okay. It's the same as that. All right, we'll just stick with these three for now. And you now with this one, again, I have the watch parts over here because if we do want to use some small ones. I mean, there's tons in here to choose from. And there's there's even some kind of larger ones here too, but um, we'd be better off with some of the bigger ones here to make our little stack. So I've got plenty in here. So let's see, take these big ones out. Will that fit? That will not, see, this is what I mean. So that would fit perfectly in there, but it's going to interfere with the globe and it can't go up and inside. So there's really no point in using that one. So at least now we can compare. And if it's smaller than this, we know it'll fit. That one will, that one will not. Oh, no, that's not going to work. And then one of the things that she had done is, is I guess, and she had made something similar previous and had had to use um, a chipboard between the layers so she didn't have to use a ton of gears for it. But I do have these bottle caps here and I should have some tiny ones somewhere in this mess. You know, seriously, let's just dump it out. Let's just dump it out, shall we? That'll be easier. Okay, a lot of this stuff definitely wouldn't work, but... Somewhere in here, I swear. Did I actually use those? I would be so shocked if I used those things. I've been trying to, just to get rid of them, basically, um, because I never use them. Ah, here we go. See? So we've got a bottle cap here. So this can go between, we'll pretend this was going to fit. So go between this one and say this one. And it still looks like a, a cool machine part type thing, but it's. Um, you know, it's, it's giving you a little space without having to, to sacrifice a bunch of extra pieces for it. So we'll put that there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to get me some more of the Prima gears too now. I'm getting low. It's all too big. Too big. Although this could, ooh, that could sit on that or something when it's done. So we'll keep that out as a, a possible idea. Ooh, we're on this. 
No, because this has too many cool features. We don't want to lose it. But maybe that. That's not that exciting. Well, no. Doesn't look that exciting with it on it either. Okay. So looks like... Not a heck of a lot. Here's one. Let's see the... Tim Holtz ones I have are fairly plain. The Finnebear slash Prima ones I have are very ornate. So I was like, there's no middle ground to anything. But hey, as long as it works, I don't care. That, definitely not. Not that same size as that, so that's not going to help us. Okay. Same with these. All right. So I think that's all we're going to be using from there. Put all this stuff back in here. But that's okay, because that's plenty of stuff. Put that back up there. And obviously I do have more of these um, in here, so we might as well start stacking some up. So since we're going to have our globe here, um, it's going to, you know, whatever's at the bottom is not going to have a heck of a lot of an impact. So we're not going to put anything really super cool there. So not that this isn't a super cool gear, because it is, but... Um, we'll just put that one there for starters. And the thing too that all these have in common is they have a hole in the center. That's going to be very important here. And so we could put this here and we can drop that like some kind of an Egypt. Okay. There's that. And maybe, see, that's going to kind of cover that up. We don't have to go too terribly far up just because we're not going to have a heck of a lot of clearance. So let's put our little skull on top of here and very carefully close this. Okay. Uh, it's going to fall, I'm sure, as soon as I do that. So we get maybe one, one or two more in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put something in the center to hold it. And I think it's going to be one of the toothpicks. This seems to match the diameter the best. These are too big here. So. It just has to hold the gears kind of together um, because the skull's flat and this is flat. So it's going to sit on there just fine. So since we have that, we can maybe put a couple other kind of not as exciting gears towards the bottom too. So how about... That's going to fit. That might just barely fit. Okay. That, see, now these ideally would have something between them like this. I don't think I have another one of those. It's just completely ironic. The one time I actually want one, I don't have one. It's so stupid. I don't think this fits, does it? Nope. All right. Beads. Okay, so spacer beads to the rescue. They are nice and you know inexpensive, obviously, when compared to gears, but things like this. So these are what you put in bracelets or necklaces or whatever um, for some extra space. So something like this might work as far as height. Something like that might be good. Let's see what I have in the cover. This is where bead caps come in real good too. So they have a lot of bead caps in here. So something like this would actually work for a couple things. Let's see. This, not really. A little bit too big. So yeah, maybe another one of these. Because these look like some kind of wire cage business. And they're copper, so they're going to match a little better than the silver does. So we could take, we'll take our toothpick to kind of hold stuff. Take our toothpick here. And put it this way. So I think we'll try this one, and we'll have to put the toothpick this way. It's only going to go so far with the toothpick, which is fine. Um, we can just cut the end of the toothpick off, so it'll be a little flatter. My scissors. All 
That's the tricky part with working with beads is, is you don't usually have a lot of clearance in there. Okay, so this will be good. And this can go on here. And then let's see, which one do we have next? I'll put this one here. Whee. Come on, get in there. Stay in there. What went on next? No, that looks really stupid. Hmm. Okay, we'll just have that one higher up then. All right. So let's see, we have that one and this one. And let's just drop that one. That one. Actually, no, let's do this one. You kind of want it so when you look down in it, you see the, the biggest variety of the gears, you know. So we'll put that one. And then we can have our little bead cap there. And then we can put this one on here. Boom. That should give us a good amount of height. The second part falls over. And our skull should still fit in there. will sit on top of here but better because toothpick won't be in the way but all right so this is our sandwich we're just going to kind of sit that to the side and sit this to the side and we'll adjust as we need to so we can probably get rid of this one and that one and move all this stuff over here this one we might sit that on so we'll leave that we'll leave these in case we need them we're going to stain that real quick. All right. So for this, of course, I'm going to use my Verithane wood stain. It's the cognac color, which is my favorite. That's what I use for most stuff. So there is consistency in my world, sort of, at least in the color of the stain. Really nowhere else. So we've got it stained and look at that this takes stain really really nicely that looks so pretty um, so we have it all stained and then this is going to fit on here like this oh, Jesus seriously <laughs> wow who gave me the real glass that was brilliant Jesus okay so I'm going to be very careful here um, so we're going to look at doing this stuff here so we're just going to be gluing it in um, I need to find a better alternative though because it won't go through that correctly. It's, it's throwing it off a bit as far as height. So I should have some wire. Nope. So it looks like thickest wire it's going to have is a 16 gauge. So as a bit of a reference, um, most like earring, uh, ear wire type things are around a 20. So it's it's pretty pretty good size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a section of it and I'm gonna cut it. And we're gonna use that to stabilize everything. Alright, so yeah, I just love it when I you know come up with an idea thing that's supposed to make everything easier, it actually makes things harder. Um, but again, it's it's only just to stabilize it for a short period. And this, even though it's going to be up too high, it's super easy to snip off with this once everything is, is kind of set the way we want it. So, since our sandwich got messed up a little bit, I'm pretty sure that was on the bottom. And then this. And then this. And then these. 
and then that and then this piece will sit on top of that okay so what we're going to do is we are going to build that up to here in here so we're going to use e6000 for this because it's metal um, e6000 holds really good the stain even though the stain says it takes like an hour to dry it actually dries a lot faster than that so it should be fine for us to put that on and, and we're going to put like a gloss finish but we're going to do it on the outside so we don't need it on the inside okay so i'm just going to take these do have kind of like a right side and a wrong side so that's the right side it's a lot shinier and smoother and that side's a bit rougher so that's the side we are going to glue down first as long as we center this one, we should be good for everything else. And since you have a minute with E6000, um, especially between you know the different gears we're putting together, we're gonna stack them and then we'll put this in because if I try to do this and then thread them on it, I, yeah, I'm gonna botch that. So, there's my tweezers. Just like a grown up. All right, put it in there and I'm gonna center that. It looks pretty centered, so I'm going to kind of press down on that. Okay, so as you can see, we've got that kind of centered in there. And so we're going to take our next piece here and do the same thing. So again, this has got kind of more of a smooth side and a rough side. We're going to glue that rough side down to the bottom. You don't have to use a ton, just enough so that it's got, you know, a decent amount of contact and, and it's not like we're going to be handling this all the time or trying to turn the gears or anything. So it'll be good. And that kind of centered in here. Okay, so that's centered as well. And then with this, we're going to go around the edges on it. And as long as we keep like the extra glue to the inside, um, it shouldn't, you know, go out and over and look terrible. And I may be doing a rust texture on these. I'm not real sure yet because I did replace my rust paste. See, I love how it's sticky because, you know, somebody like me tries to drop it sometimes you can't which is a first which I still managed to jack it up okay again we want this nice and centered because if any of these are off center by the time we get up to the top it's really going to be wonky so turn it and turn it and grab your globe and just make sure it's fitting in there and it's not because it's over to the side so maybe that this one can't go in there so let's pull this one off real quick before we've committed completely okay so that fits good See if it was maybe just off center and that's why it didn't. I have a sneaky suspicion. Let's not grab it with E6000 all over our hands. Suspicion that the, yeah, see that's just slightly too big. I didn't realize it. So, okay. So this one comes out. That's fine. And with the E6000, you can kind of wipe that stuff off after a bit. So we don't want to exceed this piece here. So let's grab another. Let's see. I don't want to use one of the same ones. Uh, we can use one of those, I guess. Okay, we'll use the silver colored one. We'll use the more copper colored one up at the top. Okay. That's why it's always good to check. Because even if you're fairly sure... You don't know until you try that globe on. Last thing you want to do is have everything set and put a nice finish on it. So like I said, I was thinking of doing the rust on the all the gears, but can you imagine if you do that and then the globe won't go on? Why? 
Okay, and see we have this nice hole to help us line it up as well. All right, there we go. Let's try this again, shall we? Because that stuff, it's, it's still, there's still some on there, but not enough that I would trust it to, to hold, so. Add some more. Put this on here. Make sure that's nice and centered. And so here's where this starts helping us center stuff. And we can press that down a little bit. And let's check. Yes, our globe sits on there just fine. Okay, woo. Let me the first time I've done something that stupid. Okay. So now I think we'll use this one because I've completely forgotten the order that we're going in, which is fine. And and I think this one was involved too, but, but oh yeah, I think I had it down here. Put this one next. Because if I put it on top of that, it's going to hide everything. We don't want that. So set that there. And again, we've got our hole in the center. So put this down here, make sure it's still aligned. Okay, good. And now we'll do this one. And then we're going to stop here for a minute. Um, and we're going to basically just take the skull, sit it on top, and make sure A, the globe still fits on there, and B, see how far up it goes. Yeah, glue side down, Jesus. Just like when you drop anything, it's always, you know, peanut butter side down, whatever side down, whichever one will do the most damage to your soul. Okay. There we go. Those are still lined up. We can still get this in here. Okay, so let's take our skull here. This one's got like a weird thing I don't feel like messing with. Okay, well, they all do. Don't they? This one doesn't. Okay, so I'm gonna put the skull on here. And we're gonna, Jesus, you know, seriously. Okay. So, <laughs> he's sleeping. All right, let's sit that on there. And see, I can probably get away with one more, but I don't think I'll be using this then. Because that's gonna put it up a little too high. But I think this will look cool on here. So, we'll do this gear here. And I think we'll stop. Worst case scenario, we can always put this piece holding up the skull. So there is that. But I'd rather have just the regular gear. So okay. So this gear here. Make sure we're nice and straight, and we are. And we'll use the toothpick now since it'll go through these. We'll just sit that there and let that kind of Hold everything straight while I straighten up some of this mess and get this out of my reach before I friggin' break it. And so see, once this dries, it comes very plasticky. So you just kind of rub it off. It'll come off. It'll make a little bit of mess on your hands, you know. So you get the little bits, but it'll come off and then no harm, no foul. Not all glues do that. All right, I'll go ahead and mark on here how high up it goes. And I'm gonna cut this. And we're gonna put some glue in there and we're gonna put this back in. So that way we'll have something holding it nice and stable. And for that, we can just use PVA glue. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, sorry, I had to unstick my glue. This is not coming out. There we go. Where's my piece of toothpick? Okay, we'll put that there. And then grab these. We'll kind of work this down here into the center. There we go. So that'll kind of 
help keep things a little more stable. All right, so we should be able to check this. So we'll sit our little skull right there. Oops, as I move everything over, good job. And then we'll put this on here. Get this a little more straight because I just knocked it. And how about this? How about we help him with some painter's tape, shall we? Because that's really just working my last nerve here. All right. <laughs> Put that on here temporarily. Set you on there. Put this on the top. Okay. See, now you can see. So that's actually probably a good height for it, you know, minus the extra for the painter's tape. So we can let these dry. We won't add any more onto it. I don't think I have any little tiny ones anyway. Actually, I do. I say with this whole entire thing of watch parts next to me. I was just thinking of having something else kind of shiny underneath it. Well, that shouldn't change us too much. So yeah, we'll probably add that one there. Okay. I need to stop because I'll add so many that we will now not be able to put it on there. But this one aside, yeah, I don't think I need to do that well. The rust texture might look good because those are kind of a little shinier than normal, but not really. You know, let's let's just not let's let's not destroy it, shall we? Because I promise I will get that everywhere, and then I'll hate myself for having done it. I can use the rust texture later. What I can do though is use liquid acrylics to tone that stuff down. And if I swing and miss and, and hit the side of it, it's the same color, <laughs> so we're good but it'll give it a little bit of an age appearance. So we'll let that dry just a little bit before I do that. Okay, waiting's over. <laughs> I'm not the most patient person ever, but it's okay because this, um, it's not gonna really interfere with any of the drying process. So. that is. I hate when it does that. I'm always real careful about closing it, but it doesn't seem to think so. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm just going to kind of see if I can center this where you can see. I'm just going to kind of knock that silver back a little bit so that the tone is a little more like these here. Now, if I had like the tiger orange liquid acrylic, I could make it look kind of like a rust, but we're just going to make it look more like a coppery sort of texture. All right, that should actually be fine. So we'll leave it at that. So now we can just go ahead and put this one on here then too. And we'll put our little skull on and we'll do a final dry fit just in case we have to go oh crap like on the other thing and, and remove it. And this, I'm, I want to leave this gold because it's a nice contrast, I think, right directly under the skull. So, get our E6000 on there, get it on our hands, you know, everywhere. There we go. Seriously. All right, make sure that's nice and centered. And again, we'll see the toothpick right through it if it's in the center, and it is. And now we're gonna just take our skull and we're gonna put a nice generous amount. Again, this stuff's nice and thick and it's flexible. I always say that, what does that mean? That means that it's, it's not brittle, so it, it can kind of move a little bit. It has a little bit of give to it when it dries, so it, it tends to be kind of stretchy-ish. So having a, a decent thick amount on there will give it kind of cushion when it sits and it'll fill in all the little gaps and stuff. 
So there we go. That's centered like so. And do a final fit, make sure our thing goes on and it does. I think we might want to scoot him back just a bit if we can. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna leave that to dry and then I will be back with you. Once it's dry, we will go ahead and um, paint the outside of this with, probably with my little teeny dregs. I do. I did find another bottle. They just changed the design on me. It's this here. Um, with the little dregs of this. So it's, it's a little bit shinier, more protected, that uh, finish there. And then we'll see, I think we should put that on there. I think that'd look kind of cool but it's going to make a bigger footprint so it'll it will change where it's going to live um, if we do that so but we'll we'll decide that here in a bit so i'll be back when it dries okay so i've straightened up the desk a little bit here and i've got my glaze and so what this is this is just a gloss glaze um it'll it'll tend to make it look like you know furniture that has furniture polish kind of thing and so since this takes a while to completely dry, I'm going to kind of hang on to that there while I do this. And we're just going to kind of go around the edges. We don't need to do the bottom or the inside. I just want to get the outside and then we'll get that top edge as well. And see the difference? It makes it makes it a little bit shinier. So. It looks like we've we've polished this or something, you know. It has some kind of a finish as opposed to just being wood colored. I wish I could get my furniture to do that. Without any kind of weird spray stuff or whatever. Okay. So there we go. We're gonna do that and then we'll sit that there, we'll let that dry. Because that's what it's all about. Art waiting for everything to dry. And so we can also look into here. Now we don't have a heck of a lot of clearance, but we could put a couple pieces, you know, kind of sticking out from say his neck area. I do have some like this one, which I'm not sure if you can see. It's, it's actually on its original pin still. So it could, you know, stick right there in that gap and stick out from this if we wanted it to. Um, that sort of thing, or we can just leave it. But I will take a look here, see if I find anything interesting, and then we will put this on this, and then we'll put the top on, and, and this one will actually be done, which will be nice. Okay, so this one's cool, because not only does it have a shorter one there, but it's it's got another teeny little gear in the center of it already, so you don't even have to accessorize. So now if we have him here and have this, even have this here, yeah, I'm just worried it won't do the clearance thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, it looks kind of weird right there. So you know what? Let's let's do a little bit of simplicity stuff here, and and we'll just leave it the heck alone because it actually looks kind of cool. We'll just leave it that way, shall we? All right. So E6000 again, we're going to put it down on this one because you know what? I like it with this on there. So we'll just have to find a big enough spot to put it. That's all. And then we'll sit this on top of here and then kind of center this. Sorry, I had to kind of look right down on it in order to do that. All right, make sure your hands are nice and clean because I can't tell you how many times I've screwed this up and smudged it <laughs> and then glued it down. It's like, I can't clean it now. Okay, so here's the glass. So same thing, E6000 is just gonna go around the bottom rim, which it'll be plenty, plenty to hold it. Um, and that way you won't see any of it either because it'll be nice and tucked away under there and it won't be squishing up the sides or anything. 
All right. So we will very gently place this down on here. Make sure we're still centered here. And look, see, we have our, have our globe that I just made off center by holding it like that, which is fine. Um, now we can put a gear on the top. That might look kind of cute. I'll get my other tweezers. These ones are kind of like bent like this and I keep forgetting that they're bent like that and it's, I keep grabbing things weird. <laughs> Don't need that, so. We can take like one of the small ones and just kind of sit it up here on top. Maybe with another one on top of that. That'd be kind of cute. Okay, let's do that one. Okay, so this time I'm gonna hold this with the tweezers because you don't wanna move it too much. I have to look, make sure I'm still in view for you. So I'm put just the tiniest bit, make sure there's no pin. Now with super glue, you wouldn't want to use super glue because again, super glue will, as we learn in other stuff, it can turn the glass or acetate or what have you white right in that area. And you definitely don't want that. So get that extra little bit there. It doesn't take much to hold this down. Just place it on there. And then looks fairly centered. Can I press it down? I think that may have one of those pins in there, so I may have to swap it for a different one. Um, the Those little gears, let's see if I can unattach this from this. Grab a different one. Um, within the watch, they have a little stem in them, so sometimes it'll still have it in the gear. So this may just have like a little piece of the stem where, where the rest of it broke off, but this one feels very smooth, so we'll use this one instead. And plus, I mean, this is flat and that's rounded, but still. And if this doesn't lay kind of flat, then we'll know. Yeah, see, this one lays flat. So that one had just a little remnant of that pin in there. Okay, and hold this to see how straight am I. Not very. Okay, so we got that. Set that off to the side, it'll be fine. Maybe have one of these on there. See, now you're getting it's a little teeny teeny one, so it's really hard to even get the adhesive on it. On the upside, don't much. You just need a little, just the tiniest bit, but you just need it to actually stick to it. There we go. And the extra you can kind of grab off with your tweezers. And then I did want one of the little small. gears like this to give it kind of these are nice and thick and then I swear I'm stopping I promise maybe okay so it's kind of like, see, this has a little handle thing on the top, sort of replicating that a little bit just with decoration. I think that will be it for that, though. And that's about as much as we want to do there. Okay. So there we have it. We have our little skull in a globe K 
curio thing courtesy of um i'll go check on the website and see who it was that made it um and i'll put a link to it um, and if she's got a blog i'll put a link to that as well so it was either zoe or tammy b who um did the one that i liked and they they do a lot of stuff for for tim holtz for the different releases for ideology and all the different things and and Actually, both of them do gorgeous things. All, everybody who does stuff for uh, for him, for his different releases, do gorgeous things. So, um, But that's who directly inspired this. So I'll definitely link her for that. Okay, cool. I'll let this finish drying, and then we'll have to go put it in house. Okay, so here we have our dried and finished little skull friend. So it wasn't too bad, um, time-wise. You know, uh, Of course, the next one I'm sure will be longer because it's a little more complex, but... Um, yeah, came out pretty cool. I haven't figured out where I'm going to put it in the house yet. So um, at some point I will, I'll do like an update. Um, once I get a bunch of the stuff that we make on here in the, the house, I'll kind of do a little, here's where I put everything kind of thing. Um, so there's that one. And then a little sneak preview of the one that's coming up next, of course, is going to be the Clockwork Raven um, decoration. And that's, of course, backwards. There we go. Um, so it's a little hard to get this into view where it's in focus because of the glare but you kind of get the idea so that's going to be coming up next so i hope you guys join me for that one as well and i will see you in the next video thanks for joining me hey marius jeff see you guys later bye